What is title insurance? Who needs it? Who pays for it? Well, those questions are going to be answered in this video. Let's dive in. Hi, I'm Jen McPhillamy, real estate associate and realtor with Yegg Pro Realty. Before we get started, go ahead, click that subscribe button and that little bell so you're notified of future videos like this. So this video is going to be a little bit different than what you're used to. We're going to jump into an interview with Mo Husay, a lawyer right here in Edmonton. He practices family law and real estate. This video is sure to answer all your questions on title insurance. So let's watch. And I'm here with Mo Husay, who is a real estate lawyer and a family law lawyer. So Mo, let's talk title insurance. What is title insurance and what does it cover? So title insurance is a, a unique type of insurance that's different from home insurance. Home insurance usually covers uh, the property and contents inside the property. Title insurance, what it does is it covers any unaware costs associated with uh, purchasing the property. These costs could be pre or post purchase of the property. Uh, however, the only issue is they must be uh, unaware to the purchaser. Um, even sometimes they can be covered when they are known to the purchaser, but this must be dealt with, um, let's say with companies such as FCT, who we deal with here at the law firms. Um, some examples are such as building permits. When you purchase a home that's been recently renovated, um, a lot of the times the, re the person who renovated it did not get a permit for the electrician or the plumber. And then you may get a leak or you may get some sort of a spark or fire uh, from the electrical wiring. So what FCT does there is it will replace uh, the plumbing or electrical work or whatever that was done without a permit, replace it with the standard uh, services that provide permits and cover your costs. Um, another uh, example uh, is encroachments. Encroachments occur when um, if you purchase a property and you tear it down to build a newer property on top or slims uh, whatever the situation is but you're keeping the same foundation and then later on you find out that the foundation is built on your neighbor's property mm -hmm. because you didn't have the real property report so what happens there is uh, title insurance will cover the cost associated with removing that foundation and put, putting it on your property All right that's an unaware cost that you could have never known about because real the real property report uh, with compliance was not provided and you replaced it with title insurance the, the third example is fraud. Um, in, many, in many occasions, people will purchase a property, register their mortgage on that property. And then what may occur is somebody fraudulently registering a second mortgage on that property. Mm -hmm. um, then usually people will get a letter in the mail stating that their mortgage is in default. However, they know they're up to date on their mortgage payments. So they investigate it, turns out somebody registered another mortgage on their title. So that's when title insurance kicks in. You may apply for them to cover your costs associated with that, and typically it will be covered. Uh, so who needs title insurance? It's, it's simple. Anyone that's purchasing a home or condo, uh, I highly recommend it as well when you're purchasing, purchasing a condo because there's more mm -hmm. unknown costs such as special assessments, uh, increase in condo fees, mm -hmm. um, anything to do with a condo. Um, Another reason to purchase title insurance or who may need title insurance is someone that when a seller cannot provide their real property report with compliance, you will always need title insurance. Okay. Even if you do receive the real property report, I would still get title insurance on top of it. Uh, it's not that expensive and it protects you and it just gives you the uh, ease of mind that, you know, I want to purchase this property and any unexpected costs will be covered. What's the difference between owner versus lender title insurance policy? So obviously one covers the purchaser, the homeowner, mm -hmm. and the second one covers the bank. Um, there's pretty much no difference. They're both, again, uh, cover any unaware costs associated with the property. Um, a lot of times, uh, well, not a lot of times, on a few occasions, bank will actually request that you get title mm -hmm. insurance. It will be given to us in the mortgage instructions. So don't be surprised if that happens. And how much does title insurance cost and who pays this? So title insurance uh, usually costs uh, $229 uh, for homes up to $400,000. Um, this will cover both the homeowner and the bank. 
Okay. Two hundred twenty nine dollars um, for the year. It's a one time fee. Oh, one time fee. It's okay. a one time fee. So that's the nice thing about title insurance is it's a one time fee. You're not going on a contract. You're not paying yearly. Mm -hmm. Nothing like that. So if a buyer or seller wants or needs title insurance, uh, where can they get it? You always get it through your lawyer. Um, the lawyer will call in to whoever they're using. Um, we use FCT, so we would call in FCT, uh, inform them, okay, is it going to cost X amount? We'll uh, let the client know, we'll recommend it, and if they want to purchase it, we would purchase it on their behalf, and it will just come up on their legal bill. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? If not all your questions are answered or you need a little bit more clarity, don't worry. I've included most contact information in the description below. And other than that, if you have real estate questions, go ahead and reach out to me. My contact information is also below. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye.